What's up fishy fam? Today we've got a lot going on. This massive 600 gallon tank is going back to the rescue or actually to the rescue for the first time but she is going to be set up in place of some of those 550s. The footprint just gels a lot better. Beautiful stand, beautiful everything about this tank. Practically brand new. So we're gonna get that going over here. We've got lots more to show you guys. All right, so while I'm here, I might as well give you guys an update on the nursery. You guys remember last time the mural was coming along? Well, this is what it looks like now. You can see all them corals are colored in. You got the eagle ray over here. Of course, you've got, you know, the Moorish idols, the royal gramas, copper banded butterfly, uh, coral beauty angels, the hippo tangs, the raccoon butterfly. And of course, you've got uh, crush and squirt up there. She is, uh, I think, like 99.9% .9 done with this wall. There might be a few touch-ups on it. And then she's doing the open water scene over here. So not too much longer, and this will be done. While I'm here, one thing, we've got a gift for you. Wishing you and Josh a lifetime of happiness with your beautiful baby girl from Alexandra Stengel. This was a uh, little uh, seat there for the the baby so we thank you very much it is appreciated and i believe that catches us up on everything baby related we've made it back to the rescue now the tank is starting to be uh, unstrapped i went ahead and took these doors off really really nice how it's done you can see these pieces are welded on and it's a powder coated stand absolutely beautiful but these parts are welded on and these doors just kind of slide on over them and they basically have metal doors all the way down the front tank also came with this 150 gallon stock tank and there's a beautiful piece of driftwood right inside and here that is it is uh, close to six foot long it's got like this hollow contoured shape you can either use it as a cave or put it upside down on its right side you can have like two di different shelves my first initial thought is the fish always hide behind this kind of ugly piece of driftwood in here it looks cool but we never see our fish if we set that one up against the back wall, it'll still give it some depth and hiding spots and maybe the planticeps and tig will hide in the contour of the, the wood. Or even if they oh, hide below it, you can actually see them inside the tank. And then we'll be able to use this piece of driftwood in an, uh, another tank, maybe the goldfish tank. All right, so just so you guys can see how tight this is, there's literally no gap there. There is a half inch we have to spare in between each of these tanks, and this tank is going straight out the door. This is how we designed it, how we designed the, the walkway. Besides this one 125 here, I had to move that over a half inch to be able to get the, the room, but that was our original plan. We've got a four foot walk here and a five foot walk over by the uh, 4400. Now that y'all seen that, this is how tight the tank fits. We got a three inch clearance up top, probably about a foot on each side. The tank is going to stay on its stand. He's just gonna strap it down and take her home. He'll be back in I don't know how long to get the second tank, but now we're gonna work on getting that other tank out of our room so we can start putting our tanks in. There we have it, empty once again. It's a sight you don't always see. So now this tank has to come out. But to do that, we've got to drain this 180 right here and get these fish moved into that empty spot over there. Hey, Rich, can you put the roller under for us, good sir? I can do that. Come on, supervisor. Ready? One, two, three. A little higher. There you go, right there.
tank. Put the roller under the side. Why are you wearing black so much anymore? We're twins. It's slimming. It's slimming. Wait, go ahead, baby. Wait, 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 wait. It's so slimming. <laughs> So you know things can't always go super smooth. Well, there's water on the floor. This filter got bumped because uh, there was a lot of commotion going on, but this top seal on this Hayward gave out and it's just flowing out the back side there. So I gotta just eliminate this for the time being so we can get our bio towers back running. So that's what I'm gonna work on and get the filtration back on the 3000. Okay, so we're cleaning the place up. We've got the walkway back. We've got our uh, vacuum back where it's supposed to be. I still got little stuff to clean up, but looking back at this tank, now to get this plumbed in, I'm gonna go ahead and cap this off. I'm gonna cap this off. So that's two uh, one inch bulkheads there. Looks like an inch and a half here and an inch and a half here. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to use one, I'm going to use the other, and then I'm going to plumb it in and basically run it over straight to this dog bone knowing that later on I'm going to have to take this apart and move it once again. But what this will do is it'll suck water in here and I'm going to, okay, let me explain this just a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to leave these baffles covered. I'm going to cover the middle baffle so it's forced to pull water in here and pour wa pull water in here. So it's getting from each corner of the tank and it's only going out this one spot. In each of these chambers, you can even have bio balls or foam pads in here that you can clean if you want. That's how these tanks are supposed to be designed. But this is a beautiful tank. Can't wait to get this uh, set up and going. But we are working towards it. Plans are coming together. Alright, now while we uh, getting them tanks up and going, we just got in this whole mass of fish here. Uh, he brought over his collection of plecos. Some of these are over 20 years old. You've got all different sorts in here. You've got two monster clown loaches. Look at that boy. He's a big one right there. We've got some cactus plecos, some watermelons. We've got some green phantoms, some blue phantoms. What else we got in here? We got all different kinds. So we're going to go ahead and acclimate these and uh, we're going to go ahead and put them in this stock tank for, for now. And then once they go through quarantine, we'll figure out where to place them all. Alright, they are in their tub. You're going to see plecos all over the, the place. So they're going to quarantine in this 150. And I've got some places for all of these. Uh, majority, Actually, all of these we're go, going to, to keep. All the smaller plecos are going to go into the Bellagio with all the different plecos we have in here. And then the the couple of big ones I've got something special for, for them so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned and them big loaches of course they will be staying with us they'll go ahead and join the uh, uh, other ple or not plecos the other clown loaches sorry I'm drawing a blank here but back to this tank one more thing we can do I can go ahead and get some tile in the bottom of th this tank I think I want to do a white bottom so it would be easier to groom the stingrays in here. And once I get the tiles in, the plumbing done, I can go ahead and fill this baby back up and we will be good to go. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see anything else fishy related, 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button and remember to chat, tell your friends and spread the word of Ohio Fish Rescue. And as always, stay fishy, my friends.